So I just want to do a really quick review of this Schneider One Business Rollerball. Uh, this was a pen that was new to me. I saw it while I was traveling. I picked it up. It cost about I don't know, maybe like two euros, something like that. Maybe two fifty, two point five euros. And it's uh, basically a day-to-day -day office rollerball from the German maker Schneider. The line is called the. Let's see where it says it. it says it somewhere. The one business and it is a 0.6 millimeter roller ball it's got a nice grippy texture it's really well proportioned i think very useful metal cap uh which is with some thoughtful design elements here it says four documents which uh i don't know what else a pen would be for but okay and uh pulling the cap off it does post it's cool. Again, the pen does not screw apart in any way. It is not a refillable pen. Uh, looking at the top area, we can see it's a roller ball. Got a grippy grip area, so sort of like a soft touch rubber, hard plastic towards the tip, and then sort of a it's got sort of old school look and feel to it. Again, it is a roller ball, and the ball itself sort of bleeds in. It kind of looks just like this hard metal here. So again, sort of an old school feel to it. This pen actually reminds me a whole lot of this Uniball Air. We could see here, have that sort of similar look to them and like similar tapering. Uh, and they actually write fairly similarly, similarly. Uh, so the uh, main thing with the Schneider is it's a, it's a business pen. So the, you know, the ink is, uh, doesn't erase, it won't uh, be removed from checks easily. Uh, the attributes here are listed as ultra smooth tip, which I could confirm it is very smooth, 0.6 millimeter, which is, uh, I guess that's kind of a strange size, but uh, sort of nice. Again, very smooth. Has a super flow system for ink, consistent ink flow, large ink reservoir with a level indicator. Uh, I don't know that it actually has a level indicator. I guess you could sort of see through here, but you can't see through here. So uh, it's not a very good level indicator if it has one. And then uh, made in Germany. I don't know if that is a strength or just a, an attribute. And then it is from, again, just to remind you, Schneider, which is a German pen maker and is the one business. And it is quite smooth, got a nice ink flow, no bleeding, uh, it's really nice, nice uh, vibrant ink, and really nice blue to it. So uh, I picked this pen up because it does write really nicely. So it is a nice, smooth, quiet, consistent rollerball. It just seems like it's just a very uh, proficient pen and there's no uh, no pooling or anything like that. It's just like, it just does what it's supposed to do really well. Uh, so as far as office pens go, this thing, uh, it really gets the job done. Again, it, it kind of writes and shares some attributes with the uh, Uniball Air. Uh, but the Uniball Air, I think, it always kind of feels like a felt tip to me, even though it's not. Uh, they are, I would say like this is the closest equivalent if you're looking for a day-to-day -day pen in America, but uh, this Schneider One Business, Schneider One Business is actually a, a really nice pen. I also like the proportions, kind of has a fountain pen type look to it, which it has a nice big cap. Uh, I'm not in love with the old school appearance here, but clearly they tried to keep the sort of fountain pen look to it and then uh, post it, again, it posts just like a, a fountain pen with the, the really kind of fat top and uh, kind of heavy witness to the end to it. So yeah, nice pen for two euros or, you know, $250 or you know, $2.5 or $3 or something like that. Yep, so that's the Schneider One Business. If you stumble upon one, I would say grab it. Thanks for watching.